Hey you guys, it's me KC and I'm back with another video. And in this video I'm going to be talking about all three different press conferences. Such as Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. Now you guys know that E3 comes every single year and I'm very excited for it. So in this video I'm going to be addressing my predictions and what I think about it. And give you some miscellaneous info of how I feel about the overall three E3 press conference or what I think is to be expected. So here we go. We're starting off with Microsoft. Uh, first of all, they're going to start off with Call of Duty Black Ops 2, should I? Really, really, really. I'd be really surprised if they decide to destroy this trend because they've been doing this every single year. I wish they would do something different, but hey, I mean, like, Call of Duty rails in the money for them. What can you do? Next thing they're, they're going to do, they're going to come out with Halo 4, trying to do something a little bit different. Show some gameplay footage and what's different. You know, it's probably going to be looking around the lines of Halo 3 and all that and whatnot, but who knows? I mean, it's Halo 4, a lot of people like Halo, so I'm really, you know, curious as to see what's new about this new Halo 4. It's not made by Bungie, it's made by somebody else. Cliffy B in my opinion, or my prediction, will probably unveil a new game that could run off of the Unreal Engine 4 or just unveil a new game on Microsoft uh, show floor. I mean, the, the, the presentation, the press conference. They may decide to actually come out there and reveal a new game that may be a multiplayer or may be an exclusive, but I highly doubt that. Now, that would be nice if they actually come out with Unreal Tournament 4, you know, for all three platforms with the Unreal Engine 4. That would be awesome. So I'm waiting to see what they do with that. If they end up coming out on stage. Maybe we'll finally actually see a new IP from Microsoft, you know. Microsoft has been, like, keeping this under the wraps. They've really been trying to take all the multi-plats for themselves. You know how Microsoft is, you know, banking off of the multi-plats, but they don't really hardly make any IPs or new IPs or whatever. You know, you got some first-party titles, but it's not really a whole bunch of what you say exclusives on their console, so I'm expecting a new IP. We're going to see Dragon Ball Z Connect on stage. I'm just shooting you know, you know, and just I'm just shooting in the middle of the wind and I'm hoping it hits somewhere. Maybe we'll see Dragon Ball Z for the Connect on stage. Um, they're going to show off a whole bunch of third party titles um, on the stage. You know, basically third party titles or maybe multiplex. Oh yeah, we're going to see some more Kitty Connect games. They'll probably do another demonstration. And since Connect has surprisingly been making them, you know, a lot more money. Like, seriously. Ever since Connect has came out, dude, like, they've been making money off of it. So why not have another kid come up on the stage and do the exact same thing? Now, um... And last but not least, I keep saying this over and over every single year. Maybe Microsoft will find the balls to release a new handheld. I mean, they really don't have the reason to release a new handheld, but hey, it'll be something different and something new. Now we're going to Sony's press conference and my predictions. Um, they need to seriously come out guns blazing. You already know that Sony lost billions and billions and billions of dollars. They already look like they're about to file for bankrupt. And they're going to be like the new Ford. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be freaking out of business. You know what I'm saying? So, they really need to come out guns blazing. Like, because Sony PlayStation is really part of their company. You know, it's like a real, you know, item seller of their company. If they lose PlayStation, the Sony PlayStation product, that could be a huge, of, huge chunk of the company's loss. So... That's one of my predictions. They may come out guns blazing. Uh, they'll show off God of War Incension or whatever the name it is with that new multiplayer rumor that was going on around the internet that we're going to have a God of War multiplayer going on. Uh, another thing, they're going to show Sony's Battle Royale. Um, if you guys 
haven't seen my video of how I feel about it, I post that up. There's a video response to this video. Check that out. Um, they need to really focus on the Vita title, such as uh, Kick Beat, Jet Set Radio, Street Fighter uh, X Tekken, and Persona 4 Golden. Now, that's what they need to do. These are all four titles that have been confirmed in development for the Vita. They need to focus focus on not only these titles, but more titles ahead. So they really need to focus on the Vita for this press conference. I feel as as they need to have it, you know, really fleshed out, like, for all the people to have. Like, they need to give people a reason why you should buy a Vita for 250 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Since the 3DS is already 170, it's like 70 bucks more. So give a reason, more of a reason why to buy a Vita. And I think they're going to focus on the Vita a little bit more than they uh, would last year. They may announce a new peripheral for their uh, Vita system. Who knows? Uh, talk about the added features of the Vita. Go back to talking about the PlayStation and then show off the Last of Us gameplay footage well. Uh, showing, saying that it's going to be shown or played on a show floor. So, we're going to see The Last of Us. We're going to see a demo gameplay. Everybody's going to be all up in arms. Hey! You know, oh man, this game looks awesome. Oh man, this is going to be great. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see them in all audience going hoopla because these are the same people that make Uncharted in their series. So, they say, they're say they going to say it's going to be on the show floor for everybody to play. Like, as usual. And then, um, out of all the games that they will show that will probably be, probably be multiplayer, will be Resident Evil 6. You know, it's gotta be shown on one of these, um, one of these press conferences, um, one of them. It's gotta be shown somehow, some way. You know, Resident Evil 6, they did it a long time ago with Resident Evil 5. was totally surprised when they show Resident Evil 5, like in 2010, I think that, no, it was a little bit earlier than that, when they showed Resident Evil 5, I was totally surprised, so maybe we see another franchise that would be truly surprising as a multiplayer on somebody's stage, um, and I honestly really don't know what else Sony can show, like, they have a lot of titles, I really think that Sony can bring it this year, just hit it home. Just hit the nail on the coffin. Like, seriously. Sony can bring this home. Hey, I, I, I really don't know what they have to offer. So, I'm waiting for their press conference or whatever happens. And last but not least, let's go to Nintendo. Nintendo is going to start things off by talking about the uh, Kirby's 25th anniversary for the Wii. They're trying to clean up the Wii. They're trying to flush flesh out all of these titles, or push out all of these titles, you know, for the last swan song for the Nintendo Wii. So they're trying to get out all of these titles, such as Pandora's Tower, uh, The Last Story, and Dragon Quest also coming to the Wii. So they're going to start off with the Wii, they're going to talk about the Wii, it's probably going to be the last time we actually hear about the Wii at a press conference. Um... Let's see, what else are they going to be doing? They're going to kick, they're going to be brief, um, about, hold on, they're going to be brief, but they're going to talk about the 3DS games such as Kingdom Hearts, Dream Drop Distance, Heroes of Ruin, on stage gameplay of Luigi's Mansion, and they'll talk about Monster Hunter and Castlevania, hopefully coming to the new, I mean, hopefully coming to the 3DS. So... Well, hold on, wait a minute. Castlevania will be coming to the Nintendo 3DS. I forgot that's confirmed. So hopefully we will get a new game for the 3DS, a new IP or something like that. So we will see some more gameplay of Luigi's Mansion probably on stage or something like that. You know, and maybe Castlevania will actually be shown at the Konami's press conferences. I think they're not going to be here at E3 again. Alright, last but not least, Nintendo is going to show off the Wii U. They're going to show off uh, how the console looks, finally. Because a lot of people were up in arms about how the console looked. 
Oh, we only seen the controller. Oh, it's not in HD, even though it has an HDMI port. You know, whatever. Then they're going to talk about the specs and the hardware. They're finally going to announce that the Virtual Console games will actually have Nintendo GameCube downloadable titles for the Virtual Console, as well as Sega Saturn and other old 3D platform systems. So we're going to see a lot of different things. Maybe the Jaguar, maybe the 32X, maybe freaking uh, Sega Saturn, like I said. Maybe even a Dreamcast, who knows? I mean, the sky's the limit. You really don't know what Nintendo can bring out of the hat for the uh, Wii U. And they said that Nintendo only showed 10% of what the Wii U could do last year. And they didn't even really announce their specs whatsoever last year they only showed the two screens that was basically like a nintendo 3ds so we will see what they show at e3 um last but not least they'll show off a trailer for pikmin 3 get everybody excited of course they're going to show more launch titles to get everybody excited as well you know a little bit of things to fill in between we're going to be surprised of what the titles are that's going to be on the nintendo wii we're also going to see a new Super Mario Wii game for the Wii U. Also, I want to go back to the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, Super Mario, new Super, Bro Super Mario Brothers um, 2. So that's going to be coming out for the Nintendo 3DS. They will show that on stage. I forgot to mention that. Since the Metroid X Star Fox crossover is uh, um, now being confirmed that it's not happening and it was just totally a lie and it could happen in the future, who knows? I think that Retro Studios is going to be planning another game in the works. Maybe we actually get an F-Zero on launch. Who knows? Maybe a Star Fox or anything really, really good. And if they want to get into the hardcore's heads... They'll show GTA 5, and I heard that Eminem is actually going to come on stage to show off a hardcore game for the audience. Um, and by the end of the show, they will show off a new IP that they've been working on for the Nintendo Wii U. And that pretty much sums up everything. One more thing, um, a couple more things before I leave. I think that they will have a Kingdom Hearts HD collection. I knew that. I was going to save that for this video. I knew they were going to do that. A lot of people are saying that they're rumoring to do that. I know they're going to have a Kingdom Hearts HD collection for all three cross-platforms. I know it's going to happen, okay? I know it's freaking going to happen. I was going to predict that. But I didn't make the video, okay? Didn't make the video early enough. Who cares? Another thing, should I actually have a Skype chat or do you guys think that I should uh, have all of this stuff on the KC site whereas we can all meet up and, you know, chat about E3? Who knows? Let me know in the comments below um, if you guys want to meet up with me or something like that so we can uh, talk about E3 on the day of E3 freaking every day. Who knows? But with that said, Ken 91 out. I hope these predictions are correct. And I will see you guys later. Um, I will be posting up a montage video probably sometime at the end of this week or in uh, at the beginning of next week. Expect the predictions. I mean, not predictions, but how I felt about each press conference and then the E3 overall video. So you're going to get like four videos in like one week or five videos in one week. So with that being said, Ken 81 out. I'll see you guys later. Deuces. Peace. Have a great E3.